Colin, he works as a junior barista here and he can't read, but we run with like bills. So our drinks come out, it says like medium, explains what drink to make. He was having to ask the baristas for help every time. So I thought, I feel like there's something we can do here that will help him to be able to be independent, which is when I reached out to Canisys to ask them if there was anything that they could think of that could help him. Across British Columbia, individuals with disabilities are facing barriers to employment, and employers are looking for ways to increase inclusion and accessibility in the workplace. Hi, I'm Paul Green, the engineering manager at Canisys, and this is our machine shop. This is where our staff design and build and fabricate all of the custom assistive technologies. This facility gives us the capability to respond to a huge range of different requests that we receive from the community. Get it out, put, put the headset on, then the slip, the slip when a slip comes underneath the camera on, on the iPad. It helps like read special drinks and helps me know what to do, what the customer wants. Consolidation, 1X Muffins, 1X Americana. When I look at the impact it has on Colin, I mean, you can imagine for yourself what it would be like if every time you wanted to make a beverage for a customer, you wouldn't have to ask somebody for assistance. You know, Colin knows coming in that he's got this tool and, and he can independently perform his task. It, it improves his self-confidence, his self-image, um, and it allows him to be a, an independent and equal part of the team. At Canisys, we're frequently making one-off, fully customized technologies, and it's because of this that we need access to a large range of equipment. In the Canisys machine shop, we have everything from metalworking equipment to 3D printing, and even an industrial sewing machine. It's with these things that we can take our designs to a full product quickly and easily. So, I am 27 years old. I have SMA type 2, um, which basically means I can't move my arms and legs. I've been in a wheelchair my whole life and I've basically relied on someone for um, physical assistance since then. Um, despite that, I go to school, do a bunch of normal everyday things, live on my own, and I want to work in sports uh, and specifically in the NBA or NHL. Uh, lots of those teams use Apple specific software, um, not being able to use my arms, I can't operate a mouse on a laptop, which means that a MacBook is pretty difficult. So this is gonna help me get a little bit of independence and in doing it myself, rather than relying on my caregivers to manipulate the keyboard and mouse. Phone. Basically, I am using my chin to push it in every direction to sort of operate the mouse. I think the sensitivity is perfect. I think if it was higher, it would be very difficult to learn. And yeah. if it was lower, I would want to throw it through a wall after <laughs> using it for five minutes. Customized assistive technologies are designed to meet the specific needs of an individual. This means the final product isn't something you can buy in a store. It is specifically made or adjusted just for you and your job. You know, from my perspective, we have a very large, untapped talent pool out there. And, and with, you know, assistive devices, um, that's something that we can access. And so somebody like Colin or Jacob um, in your business brings a unique atmosphere. It changes up the dynamic of your environment. It's something that customers respect and appreciate. It changes the entire way you function um, for the positive. If you're an employer or an employee that could benefit from the development of a customized assistive technology, please visit our website to complete our simple intake form.